Welcome back to Making a Difference on Buzz TV. I'm Mike White. Join me today is someone who is very involved in our community as well as Leadership Jacksonville, Michael Freed with Gunster. Gunster it is. Gunster. So uh, talk about Leadership Jacksonville and your experience. Sure. Yeah, I was uh, associated uh, in the class back in 2008, and uh, I guess I was sort of a rising leader at that time. But there were a lot of things I didn't know about the community, um, the good and the bad, and the places where we could make an impact. And uh, certainly Leadership Jacksonville, as much as anything, exposed me to that. What would you take away from the program? Which program day really uh, made the biggest difference in your life? Yeah, I think long term, or at least to this point, really being exposed to homelessness, sort of hidden pockets of homelessness and, and indigency in our community. And uh, that just tugged on my heartstrings in an obvious way, but also made me want to try to find ways uh, throughout my career and my trusteeship for the community to, uh, to impact that issue in a positive way. And you're involved with Clara White Mission. I've been involved with Clara White, um, and uh, now I'm working to help Jacksonville Area Legal Aid help the homeless population in particular um, deal with minor and, and sometimes major legal issues that are sort of an impediment to them moving forward. Now, legal aid reaches out to the community and helps so many. Uh, what are areas that people get involved with legal aid um, on the customer side of the business? Right. So, I mean, think of anything that uh, as an individual you, you may have to navigate. Oftentimes, uh, we have the opportunity to go to lawyers. There is no right, like there is on the criminal side, to go to a lawyer and have a lawyer represent you in navigating things like landlord and tenant disputes, uh, picture you know a single parent, single mother that's maybe in a, a domestic violence situation, um, children that have guardianship issues, um, just the whole variety of foreclosures, um, uh, uh, uninhabitable housing, all those types of issues that one might have uh, a relatively simple legal solution but may not know it's available. What is the greatest benefit that Leadership Jacksonville serves for our community? That's a good question. It serves so many. Um, I think really just um, inspiring folks and uh, to do better, to help our community be better, and then letting them know the areas, uh, you know, with transparency that, that need improvement in our community. When you have those two things, motivated folks that are inspired and then are educated on what the issues are, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of positive change, and I think a lot of the positive changes we've seen in Jacksonville have been a result of folks that have come through the program. What got you into law to begin with? Well, I'd say primarily I'm solution-oriented and uh, the legal profession really um, lends itself to solving problems, uh, whether you're a transactional lawyer or a litigator, and uh, that's what I do for a living. Who's a typical client at Gunster that you guys uh, typically would work with? You know, it's a wide range. Um, we are a full-service business law firm, and so it could be a Fortune 500 company, or it could be a, a smaller entrepreneurial business uh, that's emerging um, to become more successful. So really, any business people or businesses that have regular, recurrent, or very significant legal needs, we're a good source for that. So you're involved in a lot in the community. Um, you're involved in Leadership Jacksonville, Leadership Florida, Clara White Mission, as well as many other civic nonprofit organizations. Um, what is the greatest takeaway that you have from being involved in our community? Well, I think uh, it's a great community that, that can get even greater. I think what I like about Jacksonville is the opportunity to have an impact um, is significant. Um, you know, if you live in larger communities, and I grew up in the Washington, D.C. area, you could certainly have an impact, but generally you pick one thing, you do that one thing, and, and if you're lucky, then, you know, that could be part of your legacy. You can actually move the needle. In Jacksonville, I find that you can be involved in a lot of things, and you can move the needle on a lot of things. And so you, you run into the same people, I run into you, I run into other folks that are, have a similar mindset, and that's sort of, um, reputational uh, association where we all know each other, we know we can depend on each other, and what's important to you is important to me. I think that really does make Jacksonville unique. Who inspires you? Well, my wife as much as anybody. Um, she's the most passionate person I know, and I would say before I met her, I, I um, did a lot of things and I had ambitions, but I really hadn't combined that passion uh, with everything that I did, and, and she's uh, certainly taught me the way to combine those two qualities and to, to have a much more of an impact and much more of an authentic, genuine impact. When you are not working, what relaxes you? 
Well, we have five children, so I wouldn't say that relaxes me on a daily basis. <laughs> no, it's the start of school, and uh, that's not relaxing right now. But uh. but there's certainly components of it, just sitting and reading to my children. Uh, running is a big part of what I do now because one of my biggest fundraising uh, opportunities, I run six marathons in six days from Tallahassee to Jacksonville, and so in order to do that, I need to train. So I get up four or five o'clock every morning and go running, and that, that certainly is a relaxing part of my day. Is there anything that you see that Jacksonville is missing in your travels um, that would make us a better community? You know, I, I think what uh, we need more of is what I would call stick to itiveness. Um, we have a lot of good ideas as a community in different segments of the, the business and philanthropic and nonprofit communities do, but it seems to me that we um, start things and we don't always see them through. We encounter problems and then there's a little too much, or sometimes a lot too much finger pointing. And I think when you look at communities that have followed through on things, even when there's been adversity, um, that's what they have, a way to move past the blaming and get things done. Um, I think we need to see more of that in Jacksonville. And if someone wants to find out more about Gunster, where would they go? You could go to Gunster.com. Excellent. Well, thank you for all you do for our community. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Jacksonville Buzz. We'll see you next time.